that for in here. Okay. Welcome. And then I'm going to net around here. Welcome like to see Sparkles one. Corner. It is April the 16th, 2024. And da, da, da. before I captured for the saboteur today and before breakfast, I've actually been in here to surprise mom. I had planned to actually have both of these windows mudded and the ceiling fan off. It didn't quite work out that way because, unfortunately, of the up and down, which I'm going to get into the hilarious story that was related to the ceiling fan. And it would have just been a terrible recording, okay? And so, let's get to the talking to what I did before breakfast today, okay? So, I actually cut a piece of wood for along here. I still have to cut a, cut a piece of wood for along here from the leftover from our bedroom door and I'm going to cut a square for in here and then I'm going to sh and I'm going to put a net along here in the mud here and fill this in there's the net and then this is the net right here I basically put this around here stapled it up we got a slight uh, off level here but I want to level this out with the mud so I'm going to pile that up with some mud that way all this will look all nice and leveled and as it, we're going to be tiling along here that so the glue will take care of this and this is all the sawdust from before breakfast. This room's literally, uh, it's just gonna have to be. I'm gonna have to get my mom my big, my big daddy shovel, my second to big daddy shovel back because I ain't got the big daddy yet. Okay, now we're gonna talk about that. Okay? So. I'm trying to get it shut off so you can see the color of the blades. It's probably off. Let me in here. Yeah, that's off. Okay. The pull on this don't make any sense. It feels like it's got two offs, okay? So here's the old light fixture. I took this down. And well, this you might is, as well say this is some screws extra screws and, and stuff. And this is and this is why I basically left it up there because I knew it was going to get stuck in the paint. The paint was going to run down on it. So that's why I, I told you just stick with this until we finish the ceiling. So we got a few changes happening on our plans. Also got extra screws in here for the ceiling fans and the counterweights and all that bric a brac from from the takedown. This is the old uh, old mount to the uh, to the to the blue box up there which that's about to be a hilarious story so story time story time and why the ceiling fan would have been a terrible recording in every sense of the word so here's why this is going to be a terrible record terrible recording okay i love your shirt yeah okay so you probably think take the ceiling fan down i mean take the light fixture down and everything's going to be in the box for the ceiling fan. All right. So every ceiling fan normally that I've dealt with would it be ground would be uh, the ground for shorts in the ceiling fan to the bare uh, bracket that goes up to it, which would be a little screw like this going to this to your bracket. So that way, if there's a short out here, it goes into here and basically gets discharged and all of the metal from your fan because basically your ceiling fan is got rubber separating your bracket to your blue box from everything so that way if there's a short in it, it all just gets wasted in this bracket here. this ceiling fan doesn't do that so <laughs> i didn't know that at the start so i didn't know that at the start so this is where it's going to get good i've got all this stuff for future projects that i'm going to be getting into it did you just turn it back on no i don't think it's shut off yet I, it just shut off. It wasn't shut off. It was still going. Okay. So, oh, that slows down. Let me finish my story. So, I've got all this stuff for future projects. I've got stuff for, you know, PCB boards, wirings, and all that, which I'm not going to get to, but that is because I'm not going to spoil surprises yet because I haven't been able to finish getting everything. So, here's what happened I got the light fixture down, I got the bracket out, put, put the bracket there, the wire, ceiling fan. So, ceiling fan's wires goes through your bracket that goes onto the blue box, have like a little hole in it. In the bracket, okay? The wires go through that, okay? So I went and stripped off the old electrical tape, took the wiring bolts off. I was like, well, I got the stuff for doing wiring. I went and got my heat shrink tubing, and because no ceiling fans ever used a wire, use this particular wire in our house, because actually we've got uh, four uh, double grounded wiring through the whole house, that, so that way if we decide to ever upgrade to double grounded why is that one upside down? Whatever. Because you put it upside down. Yeah, I must have not noticed it. <laughs> well, at least upside down from me growing up. So, I went ahead and got a couple of heat shrink tubes. I heat shrink the wire that no ceiling fans ever used. Not knowing I was about to find out it would actually do it. So I pulled all the wires through it. 
and then I went to put the bracket up there, went through the hardware that came with the ceiling. I found out the screws that attach it, that goes through here, to attach it to the blue box is not included. They're apparently included with the blue box now. So then I was like, oh crap, I'm gonna have to go to the store and buy some screws. Machine screws, okay. Well, I was like, so I got the screws that I normally use for substitutes when the screws that include the ceiling fans don't work in it. And found out that the threads was too big so they wouldn't go in. So then I was like, okay, that didn't want to work. And then I got, then I got my screws old oh, plenty. I tried some of them, none of them worked. And I was like, well, I have this brilliant idea. I got extra hardware for the wall mounts. Okay, uh, in case you're wondering, the wall mounts is what you put your TV to put it onto a wall. Okay, I went and popped open my box. I'm keeping them in so I get time to get around to sorting that mess out. Oh, my office is a mess. So I went and started going through the screws, 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 and then I was like, and then lo and behold, two screws that I needed was right there. So literally, an earlier purchase, my mom made just paid off. I didn't have to go to the store to get them to put that up. That's, that's why we keep extras. That's why I keep extra for the wall mounts. Because you never know when you have to change any yeah, you right. your depth or your screws, your links, or your spacers. Thank goodness. A six ninety nine set of stuff, I think it was six ninety nine or so two front or seventeen ninety nine. We got two different sets I've ended up buying. Just literally sitting and going to the store, probably paying about maybe five bucks for special screws. Okay, so that was the first going around the house, and then I was like, okay, after I did that, and then I actually got the ceiling fan up, got the ceiling fan up, found the correct two screws to put the bracket to the blue box. This is where it's going to get ridiculous, okay? After I got it, got the wire and bolts off, did my test run, make sure the motor worked, make sure, make sure the motor worked, because you don't, light fixtures always seem sore, so I wasn't worried about that one, and every ceiling fan. It's always been idiot friendly putting your uh, plugging your light fixture in, luckily for me. Okay, now this gets to the fun part. I was like, okay, now I need the electrical tape. I was like, okay, I, I don't got four rolls in the house. All right, I basically start basically like, yeah, I'm not going to check my mom's room because I don't go through her sewing machine here. And I know for a fact I have two rolls of electrical tape that I'm responsible for. Mom has two rolls she's responsible for hanging on to somewhere. You can't get to them behind them. Yeah. All the so I my room's a disaster. So basically I was like, okay, I'm going to go out and check the shed. No electrical tape in there. Checked where the air compressor's at. No electrical tapes in there. Went to went to my office. Went through my first straight... I'm going to get you the shop vac. Went through my first straight desk. No electrical tape on there. Went to the next desk. No electrical tape in there. Went to where I keep my resistors, the PCB boards. And my hobby wiring, went through all those drawers, got to the top, finally found a roll of electrical tape. Third to last place I was going to check. Next up was going to be the mobile, the, the mobile, uh, the, the mobile uh, sewing thing and the sewing, sewing desk. Those are the next two checks. So, third to last place. I'm going to tell you where the last place was because, trust me, I don't want to go through there. When I go there, that is last resort. I also checked to boss uh, before... Before I find it, I actually checked a couple of other, three other boxes. Okay, now we get to the fun part. I went and got the electrical tape, I got the wire nuts, I basically got back up on here. Got back up on here. By the way, uh, I have a problem finding lighters. I have a collection of lighters I keep. Okay? Uh, so I use... So they I are use, black, right? Kind of wood, dark, more like dark stain blades. The other side, is the other side black? I don't know. I put the dark stain side down because they look better. The other side looks worse. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I tell you the other side looks worse is this is more like a dark uh, stain. So when basically when the light comes on it kind of makes it makes you have this nice stain look up to here. And then you get kind of a nice black shade here if you actually look at it. These actually look miles better than the other side. The other side is just too dark. It's just too dark. The other side's way too dark. So you're keeping that side down. What is it? What is it? Yeah, it's basically. To see him. Yeah, it's black stain. All right, it is beautiful. Oh yeah, yeah. I told you. Oh yeah, I love it. It's beautiful. Yeah, yeah. I picked that side because it kind of, kind of, you, you got a nice dark stain look. Here's your, Whoops. Give me I got thing. my flashlight on still. Beep, beep, boop yourself. 
I'm, this is story time here. Cancel. You're like, sure, you don't need that on right now. Okay, so back to the story. So after I went and found the electrical tape, because I was standing here looking up, they're like, wait a minute. I had, to mind. I had already put the heat shrink tubing up after I covered that one wire, and I ain't really looked at the instructions yet. So I went and got back my heat shrink tube because I just put it up. So I'm going to climb back up there because I was going to heat shrink tube. Heat, heat, I'll tell you what I did with the wiring, the wiring last, and then I started looking. I was like, where is this screw was my reaction. Where is, no, this screw. This screw here, oh. because this is your sh ground short to this. Yeah, the green screw. You have your positive, you have your positive, you have your negative, yeah. and, and then you have down. your surge uh, surge return line, which yeah, goes to this green. bracket, which isn't on the bracket up there, okay? So I was like, so I went ahead and actually decided to take a look at this, because there's no, like, well, you still look and start doing this, or doing this, doing this. Did this. It uses your ground wiring for its return surge. Okay. It uses your electrical wiring's ground return line for a surge protector. In the event of a surge in your ceiling fan. And keep this in mind. After, this was after I double heat shrinked that you're going to have to change your bedding. Because it's got, probably got sawdust all through it. So, after I heat shrink that wire that no ceiling fan used previously, I went and got my clippers, got my wire stripper, basically just clipped off the heat shrink because my wire strippers can't pull it off because it's too tight. And then I had this brilliant idea. Since I had the clipper that the wire stripper was like, you know what I'm going to do? So what I did was I basically, since they're wire nutted together, I, uh... I basically cleaned up the wires, and I basically held held them together like this. Found this heat shrink tubing that was just barely big enough for the two wires together. I cut a little chunk of it like this. Keep this in mind, ours would be, you know, one wire would be, you know, solid, and then the other wire would be like this, okay? So to use this as an example. I heat shrinked a piece of tubing here on top of those to hold, pull them together, and then I twisted them together. Put the wire nut on, and then wrapped it all up with electrical tape. So this only fans up like no other one because I didn't have heat treat tubing when I did the other ceiling fans in the house. I didn't have it then because I didn't have all this stuff for you know my project that I'm not getting into yet because I haven't got everything yet for that. Because I've still got stuff to get for that, and I'm still dealing with a lot of other stuff right now. All right, and then. Right back. I shut it off. You can just pause it.